in this video, we're going to talk about the percentage composition of each element in a compound by following this formula. Mass percent is equals to the mass of each element in a 1 mole of the compound over the molar mass of the whole compound times 100 to get the percentage. So let's have our first sample problem. Determine the percentage composition of each element in the compound water or H2O. Before getting into the formula, make sure first to know what is the molar mass of the compound water and that is 18 grams per mole. How did we get that? Kindly visit this video and learn how to determine the molar mass of a certain compound. So now, let's get into the formula. Percentage of hydrogen is equal to what should be written above is the atomic weight of hydrogen and that is 1 gram per mole. Since we have 2 atoms of hydrogen, therefore we have 2 grams per mole. Then below is the molar mass of water, that is 18 grams per mole of water. Then times 100% to get the percentage of hydrogen. So let's compute. 2 divided by 18 times 100 is equal to 11.11% hydrogen gas. Then let's have the percent of oxygen. 16 grams per mole, the oxygen atomic weight divided by the molar mass of water which is 18 grams per mole times 100%. Again, 16 divided by 18 times 100 is equal to 88.89% oxygen. Now, if we're going to get the total of that, we have 11.11% hydrogen plus 88.89% oxygen is equals to 100% water. Let's try again. Here we have the table salt, the NaCl. Now we're going to identify what is the percentage of sodium and chlorine in the compound. Again, first, let's identify the molar mass of NaCl. And that is 58 grams per mole. So, the percent of sodium is equals to its atomic weight. That is, look at your periodic table. What is the atomic weight of sodium? Okay, based on your periodic table, the atomic weight of sodium is 22.990. But we can round it up into... 23 grams per mole of sodium then divided by the molar mass of table salt which is 58 grams per mole times 100% to get the percentage of our sodium so 23 divided by 58 times 100 is 40% sodium very good then let's have the percentage of our chlorine that is equal to the atomic weight of chlorine is 35.45 divided by the molar mass which is 58 grams per mole times 100% to get the percentage of chlorine. So 35 divided by 58 times 100 is 60 percent chlorine if we are going to add it up 40 percent sodium plus 60 percent chlorine is equals to 100 percent sodium chloride got it very good then for our next example we have glucose or c6h12o6 or that is our table sugar now, let's solve for the percentage composition of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in the compound. So, let's start with the percentage of carbon. That is equal to the atomic weight of carbon is 
12. Since we have 6 atoms of carbon, that's multiplied to 6. So we have 72 grams per mole of carbon. Then, divided by the molar mass, which is 180 grams per mole. Then, times 100% to get the percentage of carbon. So that's it. 72 divided by 180 times 100 is equals to 40% carbon. For the percentage of hydrogen equals to the atomic weight of hydrogen which is 1. Since we have 12 atoms that is multiplied to 12. So we can have 12 grams per mole of hydrogen divided by the molar mass of glucose which is 180 grams per mole times 100% to get the percentage of hydrogen. So let's solve 12 divided by 180 times 100 is 7% of hydrogen. Lastly, the percentage of our oxygen that is equals to the atomic weight of oxygen is 16. Of course, that is multiplied by 6 because we have 6 atoms of oxygen. That is equals to 96 grams per mole over the molar mass of glucose that is 180 grams per mole times 100% to get the percentage of oxygen. So 96 divided by 180 times 100 is equals to 53% oxygen. Let's get the sum 40% carbon plus 7% hydrogen plus 53% oxygen that is equals to 100% glucose. Got it? Very good.